Hello, everyone. This is another Black Conservative. I'm Ryan Boland. Thank you all for joining me. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already heard about the young man that gunned down five people, one including a police officer in Rila, North Carolina, I believe. And this is a horrible, horrible thing. This is getting way out of hand. Something terrible is going on. And I already talked about what I personally believe that this in part may be. Uh, so this is a terrible thing. My my prayers go out to the family members of those who have lost loved ones during this tragic, tragic event. Once again, we have another mass shooting, this time involving a teenager, another teenager, you know. Uh, but what I want to address is something apparently that President Joe Biden said, according to this article in Breitbart News, that President Joe Biden once again pushed the anti-gun rhetoric. The idea of banning assault weapons is what he supposedly said in his speech. And this is the same rhetoric that Democrats constantly push every time there is a situation like this involving guns. So I'm going to read this article. Let's get into what he has to say here. And it says President Joe Biden pushed an assault weapons ban Friday after after a Rila North Carolina attacker allegedly armed with a shotgun killed five people. Five people were killed by a 15 year old who began shooting individuals around 5 p.m. Thursday, Thursday, Breitbart News reported. One of the deceased individuals was an off duty police officer. Horrible situation. The juvenile was taken into custody a few, few hours later. The juvenile was wounded and had to be hospitalized and new information was given on the source of his wounds. Spectrum local, local news published 9-11 calls related to the attack and noted that, quote, callers describe a young man dressed in camouflage wielding a shotgun. Now, this is crazy because he's in camouflage. So this is all planned out. Biden responded to the attack via a statement in which he urged passages of a, quote, assault weapon ban. The statement said in part, quote, for the lives we've lost and the lives we can sh save, I took historic action to stop gun violence in our nation, including signing the most significant gun safety laws in nearly 30 years. But we must do more. We must pass an assault ban weapons ban. The American people support this common sense action to get weapons of war off our streets. House Democrats have already passed it. The Senate should do the same. Send it to my desk and I'll sign it. Sign it. And that's the end of that article there. Now, here's my challenge to the president. He makes a statement that the American people are in support of this common so-called so common sense situation. But what I'm finding out from other sources of news and what I'm finding out from observing, just simply observing that most Americans do not support this. What I am finding out, more and more Americans are arming themselves with guns. Gee, why is that? Why are more and more Americans arming themselves with guns when you have situations like this where this young man decides to arm himself with a shotgun and gun down five innocent people, one being an off-duty police officer? You have to ask yourself that fundamental question. And the way I see it, common sense would say that the reason why people are arming themselves like they're doing is because of the high crime rate. It's because they're tired of being victimized. Uh, I believe that's the reason why they're arming themselves. So that seems to be a contradiction of what President Joe Biden said about the people want this kind of banning of assault weapons. I'm pretty sure that some people want some kind of gun control or laws that restrict guns from being in the hands of people that shouldn't have guns. But how are you really supposed to know that? There isn't any real real way of really determining to some extent who, who can uh, own a gun, who can't own a gun. Because you can be co totally sane and then get go insane later on in your life. The best thing to do is to just arm yourself and be ready for it. Unfortunately, that's the way I see it. And a little prayer might help too. And a little bringing prayer back into schools and bringing prayer back into the to the government, maybe that might help too. I don't know. When you took when they took prayer, legislated prayer out of the schools and legislated prayer out of the White House and out of the institutions in the 1960s, these 
from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, things tended to, to some extent, go downhill after that. But that's another story, and I'm not going to even get into that. But a little prayer might help too, okay? But no, no, I don't believe, this is not the answer. This is not the answer. This is the same rhetoric that Democrats keep pushing, and that's one of the reasons why they're losing. They're losing the battle for the November election in the House and Senate because they keep coming up with the same nonsense over and over and over and over again. Most Americans are not in support of banning guns. Now, he says ban assault weapons, okay? But come on, man. The real objective, and I did a video about this some months ago, the real objective is to ban guns, period. They don't want you to have any guns at all. They want you to be, the Democrats want you to be completely dependent on the government. But common sense would tell you, if anything else, common sense would tell you that if you sit up here and you don't have any way of defending yourself, come on, man, do I need to repeat that? If you have no way of defending yourself in your own home, what the heck are you going to do? You can call the police. But if you're in your home and a criminal comes in your home, let's assume you're asleep, okay? You're asleep. Criminal comes in your home. You hear it. You don't have no way of protecting yourself. So what are you going to do, particularly if you're married and got kids? What are you going to do? You can call 911. I got the phone right next to me. I'm going to call 911. But then you got to whisper. Uh, uh, yeah, somebody just broke in my house. Then call the police. But how long is it the police? How long is it going to take for the police to get there? By the time the police get there, you, you know, you know the deal. You know the deal. By the time the police get there, you and your family will probably be gone. Shot and killed, stabbed or whatever, whatever that, that the assailant may have on them. No, your best objective is to have a gun. Legally owned, okay? Legally owned. Let's not get it twisted. Now, I'm not going to get into explaining, well, you know, to get, we, we all know. Anybody that's watching this know that I'm not talking about it willy-nilly. Anybody should just get I'm not talking about that. You should have common sense when you purchase a gun. Okay, come on now. But let's be realistic now. Common sense, the way I see it, would tell you, you need to own a gun. And most Americans are not talking about saying, we need to ban guns. How many of these, how many of these Americans you see out there actually doing that? How many do you see actually protesting the banning of guns or assault weapons for what he wants to put out, for what President Joe Biden has put out there, assault weapons? How many Americans do you see actually doing that? You may see a few here or there, but they're financed. They get paid to spend that rhetoric. You and I both know that. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, Joe. Get off it. How many more years he got when he's in office? Two more years. Two more years we got to put up with this guy's rhetoric. Jesus Christ. But it's just ridiculous, man. It's just ridiculous. But I had to say that about that because it's the same thing. Democrats give the same story and reality contradicts what the Democrats keep pushing. Reality contradicts that. So that's what I wanted to say on that. What do you guys think about what Joe Biden said? Apparently, the banning of assault weapons after this tragic situation with five innocent lives being taken. Is that the, is that the answer? Is that the answer? I don't believe so. What do you guys think the answer is? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. God bless you all and see you again.